De hecho, tu administrador no puedo instalar de cosas, cosas ah, actualizadas. Sí, no a veces son no las Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Hi. Javier. Hi, Ed. Hi. you? Good evening. Hello. Ready. Ready. Okay, that's good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, this is okay. So today, before we start, do you have any questions about the platforms? Uh, we're going to. This is the last week. We only have four classes, and the next course is going to start next Monday. Okay, so we have to to fly right with the. With the platform, you have to complete all the exercises by Thursday. Okay, and then, uh, so if you have any questions about the the different sections, section one, two, can, can three we, or four, we can teacher, in this moment. Yes? Teacher, we can, can we check uh, 4.13? Four. Mm -hmm. Period. Yes, sir. Yes. Because uh, the number one, uh, I thought I, I wrote good, but it don't, wasn't. don't check green. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Clark. Uh -huh. Remember that in this exercise, we had to omit the period and the pronoun and the verb. So we say here, Clark is a tall guy okay. wearing, wearing, wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Bottom, bottom, uh -huh. bottom down. And the period, right? Shirts. Shirt. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I I put the the sentences in the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Copy paste. But I see. I see. The same. Probably, probably. If eh, si hay un espacio acá, no, aquí creo que también no lo acepta. Let me see. There is a space. No. Let me check. Let me check. No problem. Justo final, teacher. Yes, uh -huh. usually the period. The period or, oh. or probably you didn't omit here. Si no se omitió aquí el he is. Okay. I, I copy page in. Uh -huh. Yes, the, probably, the, probably if you write it, 
probably, mm. probably, si usted lo digita, tal vez le lo borre y lo vuelve a digitar. But remember okay. that this is very easy because all you have to do is Clank is the tall guy, the same, right? Then no period, no he is wearing a button down shirt wearing. and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. You all you have to ah. all you have to do is to omit this no, part. I, I, I saw t-shirt. I saw uh, I copy page the sentences and this one. Uh huh. Oh. And, uh, and and bottom is three, three T, three uh -huh. letter T. And bottom, uh -huh. correct, Look. correct. And this and is it's the, only two. Uh huh. Ah, it's one two, and this one yes, there is a mistake. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Here has three. So I I only copy paste that and mm -hmm. I erase uh, uh, his. Ah okay. Yes, and then the problem is. Okay. Okay, I'm going thanks. Away. Right, very good. Yes, probably if we put the other T here. Yes, that's correct. Thanks. You have three T's. Yeah, mm -hmm. this. That's Done. correct. Thanks. Okay. Yes, you will omit it. And then we have it. Okay, very good. So you see details sometimes. Eso no quiere decir que no se sepa el idioma, sino que son detalles de la plataforma. Bueno, hay que ser minucioso y cuidadoso. Okay, con la gramática, spelling, okay, and those details. Good. Then, uh, okay, any other question? No van muy atrasados. Fisher. Yes. Uh, the section 2. Section two. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. One moment, please. Uh, okay. Uh, then how how well? Uh, lo perdí ahorita. Section two. Or section three. One moment, please. Teacher, lo voy a buscar y le digo ahorita. Okay, no problem. No problem, okay? Yes, Andres, yes, no. Teacher, uh -huh. in my case, is in the section four. Section four. Four. Uh, dot eight. The listen. Yes, in the uh, uh, question four. Team, team, about twenty-three. He is. The answer is, my answer is wrong. Tina? No, things, things. For? This one. Thing. One, I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Two, Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses just for fun. Three, Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Tim's about 23. 
He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Okay. So he's fairly. Very uh -huh. short. <laughs> fairly. It's fairly. Uh -huh, fairly, yes. So it means, you know, so so, right? It's not really uh, short, but it's not I hear, very short. I hear very, very. short. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, fairly is another word. Okay, fairly short, fairly tall, you know, kind of como algo alto, right? Some algo bajo, right? But not very, exactly, not very short. Okay, good. All right, anybody else? Teacher, in the section 213. 213. 213. 213. Thanks, teacher. Okay, please. No problem. All right, 213. Welcome back. I este muy rápido, no lo entiendo muy bien. Okay. Yes, it happens. See, I don't remember what it is this about. Okay, let's see. It says, listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation. Write the answer for each person, okay? So we had to listen to them talking about a vacation. Where did he go? Did he enjoy? Where did she go? And if she enjoyed. Easy. And let me see here. Okay. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Okay, Jason went to? San Francisco. Okay. Right. Then the other nice. one Nice, how was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most? Okay, what did you do there? I love, did you like it? How did you like it? I loved it. Most about it. Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I okay. What did you do? Stay home. I stay home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Okay, I don't have enough, enough money, okay, sufficient money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. Okay, did she enjoy or not? I actually, she says, I actually enjoy my vacation. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. That's too bad. No, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I actually enjoyed my vacation. So then this guy went to San Francisco. Did he enjoy it? Yes. She stayed home and did she enjoy it? Yes, she did. Okay, what part uh, is too fast for you, Andres? ¿Cuál era la que era muy, muy rápido? Esa, este, mm -hmm. es que yo había contestado bien, este, where did Jason go? Mm -hmm. Este, y la tercera también, where okay. did Barbara go? Le había puesto nada más home. Mm -hmm. Y no la había dado bien. Okay. Pero la otra si no, no hallaba que poner. Ok, ajá. Es que aquí usa ya la palabra actually. Got it. Well, I yeah. stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. It is not really. O sea, cuando le dice, ah, qué mal, qué mala onda. Le dice, not really. No, la verdad no. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I actually, okay, I actually, esa palabra a veces, I actually enjoyed, no es muy frecuente a veces en los, en los eh, textos, right? I actually enjoyed. De hecho, yeah, la disfruté. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
como que disfrutó hacer eso, mm -hmm. estar en yes. casa. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. Okay. <coughs> Listening. Home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay, she went to the gym every day. And she lost three pounds. Okay. Okay. No problem, Andres. Any other question, guys? Teacher. Uh, yes, Manuel. Section one, twelve. One twelve. Creo que no asistía a clase, teacher. It's okay. This one, ah, but 112 is, es el objetivo. Entonces era la 113. Uh, one, uh, 11. One, 11, here. This yes. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here says instructions. Uh, complete the following questions, guide yourself with the answers, right? When it says, for example, how good are you? Uh, here was how good, how long, how often, and how well. Okay, this one was the expression using how good are you at doing anything, right? At volleyball, at soccer, at cooking, okay? And when the other one says, how long is how much time? How long, how much time do you spend online? How long do you spend chatting? How do you spell, how long do you spend watching TV? Okay, how long do you, uh, how long does it take you to study English? How long do you take uh, to have lunch? This is for asking the level of uh, let's say of how good you are to what level professional intermediate uh, probably amateur right how long is the amount the quantity of time how long how often is the frequency how often do you study how <laughs> often do you go to the barber how often do you play uh, how often do you go to the movies and then you say free, how frequently, right? Every day, every week, every month, whatever. How well can you, and this is the ability that you have. Uh, can you play the guitar, Manuel? I don't know, teacher. You know, can you drive? Uh, yes. How well can you drive? Uh, uh, <laughs> very good. Okay, very well. <laughs> very well. Uh, cuando hablamos well. de acciones es very well. Okay. Okay. How okay. well can you, for example, can you speak English? No. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no much. No. Uh, how well can you speak English? No, no very. No very. <laughs> Come on. Very well. <laughs> Not, very. <laughs> Not very well. No, you can say that uh, so so. Fairly, so, uh, fairly okay. good. Como decía Luis Alberto, fairly, fairly sure, fairly good. Okay, fairly good, you can say so. So, you can say very good. Okay, I speak English, or oh, very well. I can speak English very well. Okay, my English is very good. Okay, so this is how well you can do something. Okay, how well you can, how often, the frequency, how long, how much time, and how good are you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right.
Now uh, let's see. Teacher, is is, is section four? Mm hmm. Circe forty forty point six. Four point six. So I, I now lane check. In. Okay, here. This is right questions to match these statements. Right? How old is your brother? My brother is. Uh, I am one seventy three centimeters. How tall are you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, in that's where it's correct. Is only only is eating four six and forty six. Okay, four and six. Mm -hmm. Eight and four. Uh -huh. No, she doesn't. She wears contact lenses. Okay, then you have here. It's a just no question. It has to be a just no question. Does she? Right, does she? Does she wear glasses? No, she doesn't. She wear contact lenses. It's a just no question. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you write? Does she? It, it, it's the example in the exercise. Uh, exercise uh, in no answer the does she? Mm -hmm. It's a just. It's a just no question. Mm -hmm. For example, okay. number five. He is tall and very good looking. This is not a just no question. This is what does he look like? Okay, because the answer is no yes and no. Okay, if you see number six, my sister's hair. The like here was how long, because you're talking about the hair of my sister. It's medium length. When you say how long is your sister's hair? Okay, okay, uh-huh, okay. There you go. Well, good. It's, okay. it's only in the interpretation, the, the answer. Yes, uh -huh. you have to see, for example, you have to read the question. That's what it says here. Match the, write the questions to match the statements. And then we read the answer. See, uh, my brother is 26 years old. ¿Cuál es la posible pregunta? ¿Cuántos años tiene, right? How old okay. is your yes. brother? Aquí vamos pensando hacia atrás, right? Thinking backwards. Yes. Okay, that is el ejercicio. Good. No problem? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. Only? No more? Bueno, si le sale otra, pues tenemos mañana y pasado todavía para hacer un par de minutos. Okay. De revisión, ok? No problem. Vayan chequeando todo, que les salga bien. Y si hay alguna duda, pues ahí la repasamos. Ok, let's see. Today we have conversation, a visit to New Orleans. Okay. Listen to this conversation. Me van a decir gramaticalmente qué es lo nuevo que van a ver acá. Okay, for example, what is the new tense? Present, past, future, present progressive, or what? Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, 
I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. Okay, what is the question? See the question at the beginning? Have you ever? Mm -hmm. Have, have you, you ever, ever ridden a camel? Okay, have you ever ridden a camel? Good. A camel. Then what is the tense? What is the idea of that question? What are they asking you? Have you ever ridden a camel? Helena? What would you say, yes or no? No. <laughs> okay. No, I haven't. Never, never in your no, life? No, I have Never in my life. Ne not even in your dreams? No, in, in my dreams no, neither. <laughs> okay. In my dream, in my dreams, I fly. You know, I fly with a Pegasus. <laughs> okay. Oh can, yeah. I can do. We can fly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's the one. Okay. So then, have you ever? Is the question like, if at least one time, at least one time in your life, okay, you have done something like this? Okay. Have you ever drunk? Uh, let's say, have you ever drank whiskey? No, I haven't, or yes, I have. Have you ever drank, uh, have you ever drank, uh, let's say, um, a Colombian coffee? Then, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, but if you see here, <laughs> we are using have, yeah. but not as the verb, the mm -hmm. verb, right? This is an auxiliary verb. And reading is the past participle of the verbs. Okay, when, for example, you say ride. What is the past tense of ride? In present, you can say, I ride a horse. I ride a motorcycle. Yesterday, I rode a motorcycle. Okay, I, you drive a car and you ride a motorcycle. You drive a car and you, let's say first, you <clears throat> drove a car and you rode a car. Now in the past, in the past participle of the verb, you say, I have driven a car and I have ridden a motorcycle. Okay? <laughs> then this is the present perfect. Okay, present perfect tense. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh... I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Questions about vocabulary or expressions from this conversation? Make sure you understand the conversation like if you were reading it in Spanish.
I have an answer, teacher. A streetcar is like a carrito of chocones. No, that's in San Francisco. Remember the streetcar is the, it's like a little train. Oh, in the street. okay, okay. Uh -huh. But that's, um, yes. uh, they call it tranvía, I guess. Tranvía. <laughs> Okay. okay. In, in New Orleans, they have similar to this. Okay. okay there is a street car. Mm -hmm. What else? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Allí donde Jen. No. Uh, permite. Todd. Uh, G. Uh, I be already. Already. Been to one. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa I be? ¿O cómo se I have. Ahí? I have. I've. Is the contraction I've. of I have. Have. I've already. I have already been to one. The question is, have you been to a jazz club yet? They say, yeah. I have already been to a jazz, to a jazz club. Mm -hmm. Así es la pronunciación correcta. I've. I have. I've. I've. Uh -huh. Yes, you can say I have. Okay, have. no construction. I have already been. But this one, you say I've. Okay. I've. No contraction, I have. Oh, I've. Okay. I've been there and on right now there is no other one. Have you I can't these are the contractions I've I've mm -hmm. I okay thank you I've. okay if you see for example yet is in the question and already is the affirmative sentence okay jet and already okay ya y todavía o aún right o ya ya has estado ya has estado All right no questions killing right. me Okay, this is the introduction to the present perfect. Then we're going to listen to, sorry. After I will explain this. Okay, we will study the present perfect with already and yet, okay? Pay attention to this, present perfect, already and yet okay ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles okay now listen to this video and after that we're going to go to the practice hi in this lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. 
It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has... Okay. You have. He's equals he has. She's... I've equals I... You see, I've... Okay, listen to this pronunciation. I've... Contraction. I have. You've equals... You've... You've equals you have. He's yes. equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. Okay, so we have I've, you've, with, and they've. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. Okay, so we have haven't and hasn't. Okay, questions in this moment before we continue with the video so that we can go step by step. Teacher. Yes, Jenny? The contraction is Teacher. the same. The his is the same. The same of his. Mm -hmm. The contraction. Yes, the contraction is the same. Mm -hmm. But the difference, Jenny, will be in the context. Okay? In the context, you will see, for example, his adopter. Okay? Uh, he's been here for two days, okay? Then you see here, this is keys. He's a doctor. And this one is, he has been. Okay, he has been here for two days. Okay, so that's the difference. So the difference is in, in the context. Okay, that after he is, in this case, after he is, you will see a verb in past participle. You say he has eaten, okay. He has worked, okay. He has worked here for two days. He's been, he's been eating here for two days, okay? So that's the difference. But the contraction is exactly the same. No problem. Okay, any other question? No? Oye que alguien dijo algo here. Somebody had another question? No. Okay. Then um, let's continue. Equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. 
we use present perfect. Okay, so here we have, remember, have or has is similar to, to the simple present, right? That we have. A, I, what is the one? You, we, you, and they, we use have for he, she, it, we use has. Okay, so here, that's what it says here. Okay, it says here, for present perfect, we will use have or has, plus, okay, plus, plus what? Past participle. Okay, this says, for example, have seen. I have seen, plus complement, that movie a uh, what I have seen that movie two times okay yo he visto esa película dos veces I have seen that movie two times and then have or has and you can use the same here. He has seen that movie two times. Okay. You see, we only change I, he, have, has. Then the rest is the same. Yes. Okay. Remember that these are there are more examples about this, right? So then uh, we have this one. Let's continue. Perfect. When we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example: She has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Okay. ¿Qué idea expresamos aquí? When I say I have worked hard this week. When we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, ¿A qué nos referimos con I have worked hard this week? Who can explain that? $100 for the correct answer. Okay. In Spanish or what? Oh, yeah, you can do it in Spanish if you want, yeah. I, I will give you an opportunity. Uh -huh. yo, he traba yo he trabajado duro esta semana. Okay, uh -huh. but let's say, but what, when do we use it and when it says, when we make a reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, because the important thing is not to, uh, not to know the meaning in Spanish. The idea is, cuando yo lo uso, okay? Ah, in which okay. moment, that's, uh, so then, in que momento? Es algo, es algo que está, que ya pasó, pero se sigue haciendo. There you go, exactly. That's the present perfect, exactly. That, entonces, ¿cuándo lo voy a usar en inglés? Cuando es algo que ya casi pasa, pero lo sigo haciendo y probablemente seguiré haciendo. Cuando le reclame el jefe, I, I'm working hard the week. Ajá, exactly. Ajá, y dice, John, le dice, apenas son las nueve de la noche y ya se va para la casa y sale a las cinco. And then say, and then say, hey, I have worked hard this week. Ah, yes, but only this week. <laughs> okay. But then you say, I have worked this week. Exactly. Then they say, hey, boss, chief, I have worked hard this week. 
Ok, John, no problem. You can go. Ok. Ya me regaló cuatro horas esta semana, right? And then you can leave. No problem. Ok. Yes, that's correct. Ok, so the present perfect is an action that began in the past, gets to the present, and will probably continue in the future. For example, we can say, I, we, we have been, we have been in this class for 45 minutes, correct or not? Yes or no? Say, we, we have been in this class for 45 minutes. ¿Cuándo comenzó la acción? Hace 45 minutos. At 7, exactly, right? At 7. Okay. At 8. At eight. No, at 8. Oh. Yeah, at 8. Sorry, okay, okay, you're sorry. Es que estoy con hora allá de Estados Unidos. We are the other group. Oh. Yeah, we are the other group. No, I don't have from seven. At eight, okay? And then in this moment it's eight, um, it's eight forty-five, correct? Well, 47 now. Okay, so we have been in this class for 47 minutes. Comenzó a las ocho, sigue vigente, and will continue until nine. Okay, so that's what I said. The present perfect is an action that began in the past, gets to the present, and might continue in the future. Pero diga, porque yo podría decirle en este momento, miren, tengo una emergencia, we have to finish this class, okay? Sorry, but we continue tomorrow. So the class finishes in this moment. So it started in the past, gets to the present, al, al momento que uno habla, okay? But we say, but I'm really sorry, you know the class finishes at night, but at this moment I have to go. Okay, the class finishes at this moment, but it's only an example. In this case, the class continues after A48 and goes like that, okay? Y, y es relativo, okay, esto es relativo. Uh -huh. Yes, I'll give you a picture. An example is if the, the class is finishes 8, 45 mm -hmm. uh, and we are in 8, 5, 8, 5, uh, 50. Uh -huh. how, how we can say uh, yeah, we, that, was, that, we, was, uh -huh. we was for the for class oh, no we was we, in the class we for, for uh, we, we were in the class for 45 minutes exactly ahí nos pasamos a uh, qué tiempo pasado exacto Okay. Yeah. Eso es, Alan, perfecto. Exactamente la intención de mi ejercicio de ver cuándo se utiliza el tiempo gramatical y cuándo es más apropiado. Ok, si ahorita la clase hubiese terminado, diríamos, ok, we were in class only 45 minutes. We were in class. Uh -huh. okay, It's we past tense. In... Ok, the, the uh -huh. class started at 8 and we finished at 8.45. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. so the class is over. Or more, but in this case, it's present perfect because the class continues. The class continues, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. That's the important thing about this. Okay. Uh, we have now. Let me see. Okay, that's what it says. Uh, when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, in this moment, hemos estado hablando de un unfinished temporary. Entonces esto solo dura una hora esta clase, right? Pero no ha terminado, okay? They say I have, I have studied. Then you can also say I have studied English for two years or for one year, okay? Ustedes saben que van a ser tres años tal vez, pero you have not finished yet, okay? You can say I have studied English for two years. When you finish all the courses, then you you can say okay, well I learned English and I studied. English for three years, or for three years and a half, but that's in the past, okay? 
uh, repeated actions. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. Okay. For example, you know, I have seen uh, that movie three times this week. I have listened to, the to that song like six times today. Okay. This is, you know, a repeated action. Okay. In a specific period of time. I have listened to that song six times today. Okay, is it in a specific period of time? Today is desde que me levanté uh, four thirty two. This moment, almost eight fifty. Then you say, I have listened to that song six times today. In that period of time. Okay. Uh, we have eaten at that restaurant many times. So this is repeated actions between the present and the past. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Okay. So we are not paying too much emphasis uh, to the time or we don't know, right? I put a chocolate on the table. Someone has taken my chocolate. But you don't know if it was, probably I put it in the morning and then in the afternoon when I was returning home, I didn't find the chocolate. And then you say, uh, someone has taken or eaten my chocolate. Okay, so this is when you don't know exactly what happened. You have an idea. Okay, uh, someone has taken my cell phone. I put it there an hour ago, but I, uh, now it's not there. So in 60 minutes, you don't know exactly if it was one minute after you put it there or one minute before you arrive to get the cell phone, right? In 60 minutes, it disappeared, but you don't know exactly in which minute of those 60 minutes the cell phone disappeared, okay? For example, he said, uh, eh, I already said that, ya lo dije, okay? But I don't remember if it was at the beginning or 10 minutes ago then, but I said that, I said that before, okay? So this is when you said someone has eaten when time is not relevant or it is unknown. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. We usually put it at the end of the sentence. Before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Okay, if you see here, we already goes after have or has before the main verb we have already had have already done it and affirmative sentences okay and in their case yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened we usually put it at the end of a sentence example so questions negative and questions okay has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, no problem. Ready yet? Is already and yet clear 
is is say um, if you say for example, no, it's not clear yet. Okay, you can use a negative. No, it's not clear yet. Okay, so I will mean not yet. Oh no. Right? And then you can say, for example, no, it's okay, Luis, no problem. I I have already understood the use of already and yet. Okay, so you can use this in affirmative, in negative. Okay, for example, uh, Juan, what did you eat for dinner? What did you have for dinner? I have a question, teacher. Yes. What have you had for dinner? Uh, no, no, yet. Eh? Ah, okay. Not yet? Then you can say, no, I haven't had. You can say, I haven't. Okay, you can use, I have not eaten dinner yet or not yet. Okay? So you see, you okay. use the not yet in the negative sentence. Okay. Sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the... Okay. Have you had dinner yet? Have you... But the post, you. Have you had dinner yet? Okay. Have you... Uh, let's say, have you done all the exercise on the platform yet? Okay, and then it says, haven't you, let's say, haven't you got ready yet? Okay, look at the time. This is when you get dressed to go to a party. Time. Questions? No? Okay, tomorrow we're going to do the practice, and after the practice, we're going to do the, the knowledge check. Okay, for example, um, questions with have you ever, okay, have you ever, is if at least one time in your life, uh, have you ever been to Mexico? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Anyone can answer, cualquiera puede responder. Have you ever been to Mexico? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, good. Uh, have you ever seen a pink elephant? Mm. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yes, <laughs> uh, yes, we can fly. Yeah. No, I haven't. Yes. No, I haven't. Yes, you know this, uh, for example, when you have a toy, toy elephant, okay? Oh, yes. You know, for your daughter, probably, you can yes, see. Yes, in my no, case, but, yes. Yeah, but not, a, but not a real one, right? Not a real elephant, okay? It's obvious. Okay, uh, for example, have you ever, uh, have you ever eaten sushi? Can you say it? Yes, I have, or no. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Okay, uh, have you ever seen a soap opera? No one, no one. I have. No, I haven't, okay, no, I haven't. Okay, uh, have you ever, uh, let's see, have you ever, have you ever sung in a karaoke? Look at, look at Jenny, she said, yes, I have, many times. Have. Rock and roll, huh? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, yes, I minor, have. minor, yes, good, minor. Excellent. Minor is the, you know, the soul of the party. Right, minor? <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, el, el alma la fiesta, right, when he goes, the soul of the party. Okay, good. And have you ever, let's say, uh, let me see, have you ever flown? Have you ever flown 
on a plane. An airplane? No, not you the pilot, as a passenger. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, okay. So then these are, you know, verbs with the past participle, okay. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? No. Okay. Javier, you haven't. No, I haven't. You, you, you can't or you don't like it? I don't like it. Okay, yes, it's dangerous, right? Yes. Nowadays, it's very dangerous, especially here in Salvador, right? You have to ride a motorcycle. Yes. Okay, good. I don't like motorcycles, to be honest. Okay, guys, then, uh, well, practice the, the, the videos that you have in the, in the, in the, on the platform. And remember, if you have questions, now they, uh, we need to push a little bit more to rush, to run with the platform. We need to finish. So if you have questions, let me know, okay? Good. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Thank Take you. care. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock.